prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God is still saying something. On the 26th of July, 2009, during a Sunday life service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave a call to pray for the nation Iran. These were his words. In Jesus' name, pray for the nation Iran. Please open your lips and pray for the nation prayer in Jesus name we pray God intervention on Sunday the 6th of November 2011 prophet TB Joshua gave another prophetic message about the nation Iran he called for peace between the nations specifically Iran and Israel he then called on the congregation and viewers to pray for God's intervention we should pray for a nation to nation. That was a prophecy I gave. Pray for a country around and other super nation. That crisis, I said it three years ago. It is very close now. I want everyone be on your knee. We don't want crisis again. We don't want war again. We don't want attack again. Whatever God will do to put at it to crisis to nation to nation. I'm seeing crisis between this country. Be on your knee and pray. Ask God. We need peace. God intervention. It's close now. Very, very close. I'm seeing an attack. I'm seeing fight between nation to nation. Three years ago, I mentioned particularly Iran that they should pray. Pray for God intervention. And God should settle every differences. Ask God for intervention for that nation and other nations. We don't want it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the world war war is not going to bring solution to the world war. Rather, crisis, crisis. We want God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. God's intervention, God's intervention in the whole world. God's intervention, God's intervention. We need God's intervention in the whole world. Intervention, God's intervention. intervention. God's Father, we thank you. We want God intervention, whatever differences between nature to nature. We pray for the nation Iran. We pray for the nation Israel. God intervention, whatever differences. Father, with you, all things are possible. We know to your power, everything is possible. Father, we thank you. Pray for God intervention. We know our God is able. He is able. More than able. To accomplish what concerns me today, He is able, more than able, and He can handle everything that comes my way. Much more. 
On Sunday, February the 5th, 2012, Prophet T.B. Joshua referred to the prophetic message he had been speaking about for the past three years concerning tension between the nations of Iran and Israel. He then illustrated what would occur between the nations if the tension continued and gave a call to pray for the whole world. Last year, I remind you what I said three years ago, that pray for a nation Iran. And I also say I'm seeing a, a tension between Iran and Israel. I now said it last year, I say, what I was talking about is very close, yo. The tension of I want to fight, you want to fight, is close, so any moment from now you hear it. And we all went on our knee. Because if that should happen, it will be very serious than any other one you have ever witnessed. We went on our knee and we begged God. But the prayer we offered that day, I know it will not go in vain. Yeah. Now, we, we follow the prayer. They will continue to discuss coming to a kind of compromise agreement and so on and so forth. This will continue to drag until the full understanding come. But we should not stop praying because a break in prayer what will start? Let us pray. This one will be different from others. This is why we don't want to fight. If this kind of fight starts, every other you have read about is an atom. This one will be an element. You know atom to element. How big is the size? So that uh, this one is not an issue of uh, fighting the country to country, but the whole world should begin to pray that this should not happen. They should come to understanding and dialogue. Because if this thing happens, many countries will join in support of others. <laughs> Trouble has come. And it will not be issue of, come on, come on. I'm talking to you, you are talking to me, it's between me and you. Uh -huh. I would not agree. 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 I would not, I would not, I would not. God should stop two of us. If not, come. You want to support this man to fight me. You want to support me. You want to support this man. Come. You want to support this you want to support me? You want to support me? What is coming? World War. World War. Sit down. <laughs> so I'm talking to you in parable. This is the only way I can say it. So this is why I say it's not like others. The whole scenario is not like others. So please, we should be very careful all over the world. It's not like others. Other may just go. But this one, it will spread. So please, dialogue, settlement. So thank you. Rise up, rise up for this moment. I want us to bow down our head and pray to God for peace all over the world. Maintenant, baissez la tête et prions pour la paix partout dans le monde. Pray that the war to be ready to chip ground in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. We pray that they should chip ground. Chip ground means leave the place. I say I will not leave. Well, okay, okay, I will leave this place. Compromise means overlook some certainty to give chance for peace. So please, every Monday from now, I want you to be on your knee in your home and begin to pray for the whole world. 
or economy depression we are talking about, remember what is on the ground. Pray for the whole world every Monday. Open your week with prayer. The whole world, not your country this time, the whole world. Thank you. You may be seated. And speculation is growing that Israel could be edging toward a military strike on Iran's nuclear program. Now, a senior Obama administration official says that U.S. Defense Secretary Liam Panetta anticipates an Israeli attack against Iran as early as spring. Israel is also ratcheting up the rhetoric. On Thursday, Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak said no option should be taken off the table to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons. It came a day after Panetta said the U.S. could end its combat mission in Afghanistan next year. Now, Iran's supreme leader swiftly hit back. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said war against Iran would be detrimental to the United States. Now, CNN's David McKenzie is following these developments from Jerusalem, and he joins us now. And David, give us a sense of the very strong reaction there to Panetta's statement. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, the reactions weren't so much to Panetta's statement. The reactions have been coming here. The statements have been coming here in Jerusalem for many days now. It doesn't seem like a day goes by without a senior government official or a former uh, member of the army or intelligence making a statement talking about the possibility of striking Iran's nuclear facilities. This war of words, as it were, has really ratcheted up. And the most blunt statements yet really came from Ehud Barak, as you said, the defense uh, minister here in Israel, who was speaking at a conference last night. Dealing with a nuclear Iran will be far more complex, far dangerous, and far more expensive in blood and money than stopping it today. In other words, those who say in English, later, may find later is too late. Well, Christy, he also talked about an immunity stage, which has been talked about a lot here in Israel, where the leaders here feel, or at least say, that there could be a point where the nuclear uh, development gets to a stage that would be too difficult or too dangerous for Israel to contemplate any kind of military strike against Iran. Now, it must be said that in the past few months, these sort of aggressive statements from Israel have come in waves, and uh, really, right now, they're ratcheting up the rhetoric that's making a lot of people nervous. Christine? R rhetoric being ratcheted up. How do Israeli leaders talk about and assess the threat that Iran poses? Well, if you talk to Israeli leaders, and we've talked uh, to very senior members of the government who recently left the intelligence field here, they talk about it in very strong terms, that it's sort of inevitable in their eyes that Iran is trying to develop a nuclear weapon. Others are less forthright about that. Experts uh, say, well, it's not really clear whether Iran has decided to develop a weapon. They certainly have a nuclear program, but whether they've actually made the decision to go through with a nuclear weapon is another matter. And uh, definitely Western capitals, leaders are nervous about these very strident comments coming from Israeli leaders who are talking up the prospect of striking Iran. This is also plays into the very close strategic relationship between Israel and the United States. Uh, you, the, you, you know, as we saw with those very uh, unusual comments from the Defense Secretary saying that there's a timeline potentially for Israel to strike. April, May, June, he said, according to those sources and according first to the Washington Post. Now that kind of direct uh, threat could be seen either as a way to apply diplomatic pressure on Iran for it to stop as well as uh, sort of push through the sanctions that the EU are proposing or, which is a very dangerous uh, scenario obviously, that there could be a strike against Iran militarily and that people fear would come from Israel obviously rather than the United States. So definitely a lot of tension in this region. Christine? Uh, Dave McKenzie joining us live from Jerusalem there. Thank you.